Hi there, and welcome to this statistics workshop where we are going to focus on bivariate data. Now, bivariate data is data where we have more than one variable. So up until now, when we've done things like mean, median, mode, and all of that in statistics, we've actually um, just had one variable. And now we are going to have two variables. So let's say, for example, we record the physics marks and we call this the x variable. Now, instead of just recording physics marks, we might go and record maths marks as well. And these xy pairs are going to be the bivariate data. Now, what's important is that these values are paired together, right? So Sipo's physics mark has to go with Sipo's maths mark. We can't go and combine Sipo's physics mark with, let's say, Anna's maths mark, because those two don't go together. So this is gonna be an ordered pair where those two variables belong together. Um, the particular physics mark goes with a particular maths mark. So what sort of bivariate data might we be interested in? So we might, for example, want to look at the relationship between how tall somebody is and, for example, what the size of their shoes are. Now, if we have bivariate data, we can visually represent it with a scatter plot. Right now, let's take these um, marks that we looked at earlier and let's put it on a scatter plot. So the x variable is going to go on the x axis and the y variable is going to go on the y axis. Now, usually we would put the independent variable on the x axis and the dependent variable on the y axis. But it's not always true that we have an independent dependent type of relationship. So, for example, here, I don't think it's fair to say that the physics marks determine the maths marks. Um, so we can also just uh, look at the relationship between two things where there isn't a relationship of dependence. Now, in order to construct our scatter plot, we're going to take each of these ordered pairs and we're going to plot them like we would usually plot a point on the Cartesian plane. Right, so if we take that 66 and 57, then we're going to plot an x value of 66 and a y value of 57. To plot the next point, we'll do the same, x value of 45 and a y value of 51. And then we're going to continue that process for each and every one of our data points. And when we do that, we will find that a picture will usually start to appear. So, what have we done in the past if we've had something like this, maybe in science class? Well, usually we would have given it a bit of a look and we would have grabbed our pencil and our ruler and we would have gone and drawn a line of best fit that we think visually represents the data as best as possible. But different people will draw, draw different lines of best fit if they were to just estimate it and we want something more rigorous and more mathematical than that. So instead of estimating the line of best fit, we're going to use a much better alternative that's based in mathematics and that's going to be the least squares regression line. Now, the least squares regression line is going to be a line of best fit that we're going to calculate rather than estimating it. And what's lovely about it is we're not going to calculate it using pen and paper, we're just going to use our calculators. And our calculators are going to give us a straight line in the form y equals a plus bx, and that is going to be our equation of the line of best fit, where A is going to be the y-intercept and B is going to be the gradient of that line. And what's also important is that the mean point x bar y bar exists on the line, where x is going to be the mean of all of the x values and y bar is going to be the mean of all the y values.